Hello, Chef AJ and Chef AJ's fans. This is Dr. Brooke Goldner from Goodbye Lucas, and welcome to my kitchen. Decided to take you in here today to show you how I hypernourish. So I'm going to teach you today what hypernourishment is and simple ways to do it, either using something like a salad and this amazing dessert, or something as easy as making a green smoothie that you can sip on while you go through your day. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what is hypernourishment? That's the cornerstone of the Goodbye Lupus and Goodbye Autoimmune Disease Protocol. And it's about eating foods that will optimize cellular repair, your metabolism, and your immune health. It's the reason why I am lupus free almost 18 years now and thousands of people all over the world are enjoying great health. I'm gonna show you easy ways to do it today. So when you're talking about hypernourishment, we're really talking about adding what you're missing that might be slowing you down from either losing the weight you want, getting that blood pressure where you want it to be or your cholesterol or getting rid of autoimmune diseases or other health issues. So what are most people missing? Well, vitamins, minerals, and things like omega-3 fatty acids, as well as hydration. The water part, that part's easy. You just drink your water, but I'm gonna show you ways that you can actually eat the foods that optimize your absorption of those nutrients. Now, while you can get vitamins from things like fruits and many different kinds of vegetables, the best source, the most robust and profound source of vitamins and minerals are really in cruciferous vegetables and vegetables like spinach and chard. So one way that you can get those nutrients in is going to be in salads, right? Pretty simple and easy to do. So I am a doctor, I'm not a chef, so everything I do is using simple foods and even pre-cut, pre-washed packaged foods that are still fresh, but maybe not from someone's garden. And the good news is it works. So if you're like me and you're busy, you can totally do it this way. So for this salad, I'm actually just going to use baby spinach that's from a package. It's triple washed. I know some people already are gonna go, I wash them again. Good for you, that's fine. I'm gonna use them right out of the package. And so the spinach here, is gonna be one of the main sources of nourishment because of the high doses of vitamins and minerals. The other thing that we're going to add that will be cruciferous will be chopped broccoli. You can use cauliflower, you can use cabbage, and I've got some cabbage here as well. Also pre-chopped coleslaw. Um, so you can use it fresh, you can chop it yourself, but I wanna show you that you can do it easily and quickly without a lot of thought. So we're gonna do spinach, we're going to do cabbage, because I like crunchy salads personally and we'll do broccoli. Those are the components of hypernourishment. The rest of the things I'm adding is just for flavor. So if you like romaine lettuce, you can have lettuce, just know that it's not very nutrient dense. So you add it for the flavor, for the crunch, not for the nutrition. Uh, you can add things like carrots, any other vegetables you like. I put in some cucumbers here as well. And any kind of vegetables you like. You wanna add peppers? I just don't have any that are fresh right now. Um, and also even, look at this box, <laughs> some tomatoes. But you can see, it's just a basic salad of whatever you like to add. You just make sure that the majority of what you're eating is for the point of your nourishment. So the spinach, the cabbage, and the broccoli, all of those are going to provide the hypernourishment and the rest is for flavor. Now, what do you do about a dressing? Well, Again, hypernourishment is really about adding what you're missing, but you do want to avoid things that are inflammatory or unhealthy, like animal products and excess oils, unless it's something like flax oil. So I'm going to show you how to make a recipe that would be compliant on the Goodbye Lupus Protocol. It's an avocado-based Caesar dressing. So uh, I'm going to use this cool gadget that my mom actually got from Vitamix, where you can just make a, a serving of dressing. So the ingredients of the dressing, we're going to use an avocado, we got Bragg's aminos, we got nutritional yeast. I know some people don't want to use it. If you don't like any of the ingredients, don't use it. No problem. Sometimes people ask me what to substitute. Just take out what you don't like. This is just what I like. This is Dijon mustard and the gasps, minced garlic that's already in a container and, uh, and some lemon juice. Again, I go for speed, efficiency, and good flavor and what matters is results. If people use these kind of ingredients and they didn't get their health back, I wouldn't use them. But people are doing that and they're healthy, I'm healthy. So if you want to do that, it's totally okay. All right, so let me just show you how to do this. We're going to add the avocado, the rest of these ingredients, and we'll blend it up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this avocado going. So my favorite way is to just cut it in half. Ooh, we got lucky, look how pretty that is. 
and then just grab a spoon and scoop it out. For my family, most of us just scoop this right into our mouth most of the time. Avocados go quickly here because we just eat them right out of here and there is nothing to fear in an avocado. They do not make you fat, but they do make you feel very satisfied. Fats actually cause release of cholecystokinin, which is your satiety signal. So if you're not eating any kind of fats, even the healthy ones like avocados or flax or chia, you tend to be very hungry all the time, feel very unsatisfied. So if that's happening to you and you like avocados, great news. All right, so we're just gonna get the rest of this in. All right, so we got our avocado in there. This is a super basic recipe, so I'm gonna add to it is three tablespoons of lemon juice. If you've got fresh lemons, more power to you. Uh, I bought this lemon juice. When I'm not in my office, I want to be with my family as much as possible. So I do use whatever I can to simplify kitchen time, unless it's on the weekend and we're making stuff together for fun. All right, I'm also going to do three tablespoons of Bragg's aminos. You can use soy sauce instead if you like, or sodium if you prefer, but I like the taste of Bragg's aminos. And Dijon mustard, this is just my store brand. If you don't like the spiciness of Dijon, use another mustard or omit it. So I'm just gonna do two of these. I normally don't even measure, but for you, <laughs> I'm trying to be specific. And then it's about two to three cloves of garlic. So uh, that's about one and a half teaspoons of my minced garlic mix. Again, if you have fresh, enjoy it. You don't need to comment if you uh, prefer fresh, go for it. But as I said, if it works for your health, that's all that matters. And there's been no detriment for my clients. So if you wanna use package, go ahead. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. That gives it the cheesy flavor. So I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of water. If you want it thinner for a dressing, you can add more. If you want it as a dip, add less. This part is totally up to you, so. Put that water in. Now, then you can put this in a regular blender. It'll blend up easily. Uh, this is a special attachment actually for the Vitamix that I'm gonna hope that I do right and don't make a major mess, but here we go. Fingers crossed I flip this over. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna blend this on the Vitamix to make this serving dressing. All right, so we put this doohickey on this here. All right, let's see if we can do this without a mess. All right. Oh. All right, let's see. I love this thing, it's super cool. All right, so this one is pretty thick. Might need to loosen up a little bit, but it's well blended. All right, so all we need to do now is add our avocado Caesar dressing and we've got lunch. Now, if you're, go if you're going to use a salad to get your hypernourishment in, you still need some omega-3 fatty acids. How do you get that? There's a lot of different ways you can do it. One, you can actually add flax oil to your dressing. Two, you can do something like a chia pudding. Or if you wanna get fancy, I happen to have dessert for this salad. This is actually, we, we just prepared this because we're photographing recipes for my upcoming raw recipe book. It's uh, called Goodbye Lupus Hello Delicious. This dessert right here is our cherry pie recipe. And it's actually uh, a base of all ground up flax seeds. So we have about a half cup of ground up flax seeds here. And then we just made cherry banana and ice cream blended that up on top and it makes a beautiful little pie. It's a wonderful dessert. Look at this meal. This meal actually will reverse disease and get you healthy. And the recipes for both of these will be in my book coming out in the summer, but you got a preview. So make sure you jot it down and try it. Now I'm going to switch over and show you how to get all these nutrients in even easier. All right. So what I have most become known for besides reversing disease, is in using green smoothies to do it. 
Why? Because this simplifies everything. So while I just showed you an easy way to prepare a salad and a dessert that can hyper nourish you, that still takes some time in the kitchen. If you've got about five minutes in the morning like I do, this way works really well. Also, it helps people who are not used to or interested in eating raw vegetables. I want people to get in a significant amount of raw cruciferous vegetables or things like spinach and chard so that they can get that nourishment up to hyper nourishment. But not everybody likes to eat salads like I did back in the day when I got healthy from lupus. I literally chewed up pounds of broccoli and cauliflower just dipping it in guacamole all day. But I found it hard to get other people to do that. Well, when my husband Thomas Tadlock and I came up with a smoothie solution, it changed everything. Because if you can take those same greens and add some fruit for flavor and put a straw in it, people will do it. Now, you might have heard some people with objections to smoothies. And so let me just take a moment to address those. There are some people who worry that either you're going to get too much fruit in a smoothie and raise your blood sugar, or maybe you need to use the enzymes in your mouth to digest food and you should swish it around or chew it or just not use smoothies at all. Well, I can let you know that none of those things are true. The biggest way I can prove it is just results. I've helped thousands of people all over the world reverse their diseases using these smoothies. So if they didn't work, well, I wouldn't recommend it. As someone who used to be sick for most of my life, uh, 12 years of my life, actually at 46, it's not most anymore, but at the time I got well, it was. Uh, but for being sick for so much of my life and as a doctor, I feel the most ethical thing to, that you can teach people is results, not theories because theories are often wrong. So the results show that this actually will help eliminate diabetes. In my rapid recovery programs, most people no longer are diabetic by a month into the process and they're doing smoothies with fruit. Uh, so it eliminates diabetes. It helps with heart disease and heart failure. We had a client whose mother-in-law was in the hospital with her final heart attack, the doctor said, and they told uh, their son to come and say goodbye. And he brought the blender with the green smoothie recipe that healed his wife from lupus and Sjogren's. And in five days, his mother walked out of the hospital and all she did was drink these smoothies. So whether it's, if it's your heart, diabetes, autoimmune disease, or you're just trying to get really ripped, smoothies work. And you know the best way that they work is you actually put the food into your body. So let me show you a quick and easy way that you can hyper nourish using green smoothies. It'll change your health, it's delicious, and it's super convenient. All right, so the basis of the smoothie is going to be the vegetables, right? Right now I'm using some baby spinach simply because Costco was out of my favorite power greens that had the mix of spinach and kale and chard and other things. Spinach will work great. I already hear somebody asking, what about oxalates? You don't have to worry about them. I actually just posted a very long video about why you don't need to worry about oxalates to my YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook, wherever you tend to get content. But the short version of it is that this is mythological. It is being oversold as an issue. So for example, there are some folks trying to say that you can get kidney stones from eating things like spinach because it has oxalates, but I can promise you that even though one in 10 Americans get kidney stones, they are not overdosed on spinach. They're not eating enough spinach. When you eat your vegetables, it creates an alkaline urine that actually helps you get rid of stones. And that, that is why when they actually tested taking people with stones and taking the vegetables out, they got more stones, not less. What you're, you're suffering from is not overdose in leafy vegetables, but rather not getting enough. So I am going to fearlessly use all spinach for this recipe right here. And what you wanna do, if you want this to be hyper nourishment, the majority of the blender should be spinach. Now, people will tell me all the time, I am filling up my blender with spinach. And then when we have a wellness appointment and I try to get the weight out of them, I find out that no, they're putting in maybe five, six ounces. Look how full that looks. Want to see how I do it? <laughs> there it is. So this is a 16 ounce container. And if you can finish this in a day, then you're doing really well for your nourishment levels. Now, uh, I'm going to make this about, so you can do two thirds to three quarters full, depending on what your taste buds are ready for. And again, you can use any cruciferous vegetable. If you are afraid of spinach, or if you're someone that happens to have one of those rare reactions to oxalate, it's extremely rare, but it happens. Or if you've had gastric bypass or some other issue that makes you more sensitive, or if you have kidney failure and you can't have high potassium foods, I've helped people get off the transplant list for kidney failure using this protocol. Then we do take spinach out and you can use kale or cabbage or any other cruciferous vegetable. 
or if you just don't believe me and you're afraid of it, use the kale, it's fine. But for this one, we are using spinach and we're gonna go about three quarters full. So this is the ingredient we're working to get in. The other thing that we want to get in is your omega-3 fatty acids. So this here is chia seeds. Now chia seeds on their own, you won't digest them. So you have to break them up and what an easy way to do it is here in this blender. Now for general health and metabolism, your sized handful is fine. If you're really trying to aggressively improve your health, then I recommend you get about a half a cup a day as a good starting dose. You can use flax seeds or you can use chia seeds like I just did. The next step would be to add the water. So as I mentioned before, part of hypernourishment is really increasing your hydration. Well, the smoothie takes care of it. And that's why we call this the smoothie solution because you get in your omega threes, your high nutrient vegetables and your hydration in all at once. You don't have to figure out ways to do that all separately. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. The goal is to get the water about to the level of the greens. We have found that is the right amount to get a nice liquid smoothie, uh, not too thick and also not overflowing. I know uh, all of us have had that experience of the whoa. So uh, if you do it to the level of the greens, that's usually good. Now as for the flavor, that's when we hit the fruit. So this is actually our daily drinker. The recipe is at smoothieshred.com. We have free recipes there. You don't have to add any of your information. We just give it to the public as a public service. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add bananas, make sure they have that nice spotty skin. This is where the sweetness comes in. So I'm going to put a couple of bananas in here. Oh, they smell so good. I just wanna take a bite out of one of them. <laughs> and then here we have frozen mango. And again, if you don't like any of these or you're allergic to one of these, Use the fruit that you like. This isn't, the fruit is just the spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. It's not required. In fact, there are some people who do it without fruit and just add some mint and lemon. I know, exciting, right? But that part's up to you. But we're going to do mango and pineapple. The frozen fruit makes it so you don't need to add ice and it will blend and stay cold. If you're using fresh fruit, then you're going to have to add ice because this is a powerful blender and it will cook the smoothie and then it's not hyper nourishing anymore. So now that we have all of the ingredients in there, I'm going to blend it up and then we'll test it. All right, let's go ahead and blend this. So put the lid on. And again, this is the Vitamix blender, but you can use any high powered blender. If you don't have a high powered blender, you might want to soak or pre-blend the seeds in a coffee grinder. Uh, but we're gonna blend this. Usually you need about a minute or so to make sure it's completely blended. Uh, you don't wanna overcook it. <laughs> but you also want to make sure it's fully blended so you're not chewing on anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so it is now fully blended. So normally, the next thing I would do is put these into containers for storage because the goal is to drink this by the end of the day. Now I make multiple blenders a day because we are a family of four or five actually, if you count grandma who's coming back today from visiting her friends. So uh, normally we'll have the big ones for us adults and these are my kids size that they have for their breakfast every day. But so that I can show you and you can see the gorgeousness that is the green smoothie. I'll put it in this glass for you. Ready for this? Ooh, <laughs> it smells so good too. I just smell the mango and pineapple. There you go. So it's a pretty big container, I know, but think about it this way. If you have five meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, a couple snacks, maybe a dessert, that would be six. If you just have a glass of this before each meal, you'll be hypernourished so that you're getting what your cells need. And it'll also naturally crowd out some of the bad stuff because you're going to be more full. So all you have to do is put a straw in. You can see the omega-3s from the chia does make it a bit on the thick side. If you don't like it too thick or you tend to have a lot of bloating, you can use a couple of tablespoons of cold pressed flax oil instead of the seeds and that works well. And no, you don't have to be afraid of flax oil. It is a primary omega-3. It reverses disease. The results show that it actually builds metabolic rates and reverses disease. So while other oils and fats can be harmful, the omega-3s aren't. So just to prove that I'm going to probably drink the whole thing instead of just taste it. But... Oh, it's so good. So this is one of my favorites. There's so many others that you can try. Again, smoothieshred.com has free recipes. 
more coming out in my uh, new recipe book this summer. But in the meantime, I'm going to drink this and, uh, and then we can chat a little bit more next time. Um, Dr. G, are you ready for the smoothie? Mm. Mm. No, sir. Good.